Hi Thrifty Friends, it's Laura. I hope you're all doing well. I'm sitting here in front of my little area that I like to decorate. But today I have decorated it. It is inspired by a friend of mine, a YouTube friend of mine, and she's somebody that you guys all know. And what I would like to do is have you guys make a guess as to who it is by the clues, by the items that are around me, and put down in the comments below who you think it is. And I will put everyone who's correct in their names in a hat and draw for one of my little journals. So this is just a little country life journal. Got a few horses in it, got a few cows in it, got a few men at work and uh, use it for your hopes, your dreams, or your shopping lists. And let's just have some fun. Now what I'm gonna do, because you can't see everything behind me, is a little short video where I'll show close up of everything and uh, you'll get a better look at all the clues. So that'll be a separate video because I'm not tech savvy, I can't put it all together. <laughs> so bear with me. So let's go and see what's in this sewing box. This one is the second one that I picked up quite a while ago now because we're still in lockdown. And uh, I love it. I had this sewing box, only the larger size in the 70s probably. I think it was a Christmas gift from my mom and dad. And um, I love this color. So let's open it up and see what we've got. I should have brought a drink. I'm dry. So on the top, we do have the insert for all your little bits and bobs. And I'm so glad that's there. This is such a handy spot to keep everything. So I'm just going to set that down there. And then in here, most everything is in little uh, tins and containers. So let's have a Let's have a peek at what we've got. Let's set that that way so I've got room to put stuff. So I love these old tins. We've got chewing tobacco tin. So it looks pretty old, 15 cents. So I don't know what chewing tobacco costs these days. I haven't bought any for a while. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> so, oh, oh, we've got pins. Lots and lots and lots of pins. What? Remember those pins, the hairpin? Yeah, just, whoops. I'm going to be glad when I find that on the floor in my bare feet. Anyway, I better get my magnet out. Ten of pins. Item number one. D.F. Taylor and Company Limited Dressmakers Hardened Tempered Steel Pins. I love the color of this box. Isn't that pretty? Mm, I should have got a drink. And we have more pins. I'm going to try not to drop them on the floor. <laughs> so those are nice. I like the ones with the, the colored heads. They're handier, easier to, to hold. And we've got, I love this little box. Isn't this cute? Sort of, I don't know, that old hard plastic, that lucite. And come on, baby. There we go. Oh, we have some thread and some old buttons. Let's see, little skeins of thread. Whoop, is that a needle? Cheapers. Yeah, I'm going to have to get out my magnet so I can pick up all the sharp things I'm dropping on my floor. <laughs> There's a little, I think that's Mother of Pearl. Not too much in here. Little metal one. But I love the box. The box is so me. Perfect. Okay. And we have more tobacco, I think. And oh yeah, look. Cool. And buttons. Vintage buttons. Can you see anything exciting? Oh, that one's pretty. Nice one. An old coat button. 
Um, whoop, there goes something else on the floor. Yeah, lots of nothing terribly exciting, darker metal buttons, that sort of thing. So a nice old tin of buttons where I put the lid. And oh, this one's heavy. Can I get it open? Ah, here we go. Oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> this one's just full to the brim. What have we got in here? A little hair comb. I love this. Oh my goodness. Look, it's a little shoe buckle or shoe um, embellishment. You just clip it on the front of your pumps. It's not cute. Look at the old crushed roses. So cute. Um, this looks like a sewing machine part. King Manufacturing Chicago. It's metal. It's a heavy metal piece. Oh, the treasures. There goes another button on the floor. <laughs> ah. <laughs> These look like replacement buttons. Maybe something military. They look military. Cool. Put you there. And I think these are broken jewelry. There's always broken jewelry in sewing boxes. I think women put their broken jewelry in there because they thought, one day I'm going to fix that or I'll take it to the jeweler and have it fixed. And, uh, and then it gets passed on to the next person. <laughs> There's a tie clip, but whatever was on here has come off. You can see the residual glue there. Maybe somebody tried to glue it back on. Cool. Here's a, some sort of an old buckle. That's neat. It's got the loop back here. It's all bent. Huh. Neato Frito. There's some old stuff in here. There's a metal washer. Very heavy. That must be lead. Um, there's an old bobbin. What else have we got in here? Uh, <laughs> this one was meant for me. You know what that is? That's for putting your horse's shoes on. That's the nails that the farrier uses. Cool. Must be a fellow horsewoman. That's another, looks like a, not quite sure, buckle? Some sort of a buckle. Beautiful filigree work on there. Something I can use on a junk journal. Oh, we've got a mother of pearl button on a nice with a nice uh, brass back. Uh, what else have we got in here? Oh, this is cool. Look at this. This is the shoot what is that called your bobbin goes in it there's one of the old bobbins and it goes in it shuttle these this is the shuttle so that is out of a very old sewing machine way cool uh, oh. we've got a bunch of little brass rings jump rings although they don't look like they have an opening no, they don't. So I'm not sure what those are for. Am I, oh, I'm not going to run out of time. I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. Hair, bo hair barrettes, hair pins. Boy, that's a delicate little thing. Can you see that? I'm not sure what that would be for. Okay, it, it opens on this side and that side like a hair thing. Hmm. Maybe more broken jewelry? Not sure. <gasps> the mystery box. This is so much fun. Oh, oh, look at this. This is old, old, old. Look at that red cross. And it's got that old style pin on the back. Sorry for my big old farmer hands here. There's another bobbin. 
oh, this tiny little, I don't even think I'll be able to pick it up. Oh, tiny, tiny, tiny little um, one of those. <laughs> Gotta love it. Oh, another nib for a fountain pen. See, the word finally came to me. And more broken jewelry. Well, I think that's the highlights out of here. This is a cool little box. What fun. So, is that everything? Oh, there's a few loose, a few more loose bobbins in there. And who remembers using this? I remember when you were making a blouse and you had to do the darts on your blouse for your, you know, yep, Taylor's chalk. So that's it. That's it. That's it. So some cool stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll participate with me in my little fun game. And I'm going to put a separate video behind this one with a close up of all my clues behind me and uh, you, can, you can get a better look at it all. So take care, everybody. Bye for now.